Well, the build continues. So in this episode of the Cobra Daytona build, I'm gonna start running brake lines. You can see I've got my first one. Uh, this is actually gonna go to the front. So I'm trying to figure out how to run this. Um, thought about coming up and around. Now I'm thinking this, a little jog here, straight out the front, clean. Keep all this area here open. This will be for the rears that'll run that way. So that's the, the kind of gist of what I'm thinking right now. But uh, we'll see as I start bending. So please follow along and uh, we'll kind of show you how to start fabbing up and uh, running some brake lines. So thanks again. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. See, so we just clear the foot box right there. And that's what I want. Little bit of gap, clear the foot box because I'm probably going to put some uh, sound deadening underneath that foot box. I'm thinking just kind of keep the heat and the sound down. Um, but yeah, just clear that. I may bend that a little bit more. Come down, jog, jog, right out the hole, right down this panel here, all the way down, and then kind of cross over to this panel here, pick this one up into here, and then down. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, but I'm not sure yet. I might even, yeah, I don't wanna go to the other side, so yeah, this whole thing is, uh, I know the one line's got to come out right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me adjust this. The uh, flex line for the brake comes out right here. That's where they recommend to put that. Um, so, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, and they want, Factory 5 wants to come down this tube. Um, but then you got, you know, headers right here. So my big concern is heat. So if I can keep this tube up higher till I cross over and get away from the headers, the happier I'm going to be. So... Definitely want to keep heat out of the brake line. So that's why I'm thinking this tube, I've even contemplating, let me readjust this, um, coming down this way and then coming this, and then it's a straight shot right underneath that tube all the way out. Um, just punch a small hole right up into here, you know, so I could basically almost even bring the tube this way and then straight on out. So that's a possibility too. But I would like to keep these things isolated. So if I need to pull out that one, this one, this line's not in the way, and I don't need to crack the front. Um, I can just do the back. As, as I said, I'm always thinking down the road, what if I have to change this? What if I have to replace that? So that's why I'm thinking here, here. So I'm clear of this one. That one's kind of, because that one's a real pain in the butt to get to. This, this one, if I ever have to change that one, is not fun. It's doable, but it is not fun. Just to get to that one bolt, as you can see right there, is a real headache. Um, and then to try to get this rod to, to screw in and out of that is another headache. So as I said, this one, that one you don't want to have to, even this one's tight because you got all this in here. But you can always pull this bracket out if you had to get to that one. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I'm thinking I'm going to come this way and out. So uh, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Now we're drilling for the uh, plate where the hard line and the flexible line the junction meet. So I'm putting them right where Factory 5 recommends because I'm not sure where they should be until I get the brakes on, which I'm still waiting on parts, so that's not going to happen. So we're going to actually tap these for 10, 30 seconds. Um, and I may put rivets in eventually, but right now we're just going to tap them. Uh, that way I can pull those plates off and paint them because they're just raw laser cut steel. So uh, we'll get these things mounted and we'll show you a picture. And then we can figure out the hard line once we get that in. Another episode in the can. So the front brake lines are now complete um, other than the flex lines. I'll show you what we've done here. We've come out of the master cylinder, which actually after thinking about it more, I should have went down underneath this tube, but I wanted to use the one hole that was already in there. Eh, does it get the job done? Yes. Comes down here, um, down here, cross over, pick up the joint, uh, hard to flex over there. And then I did this quick, just a little like that. So, turns out pretty good. Get the, I'm gonna admit to a screw up here. So, which is good, you guys can learn from my mistakes. So, after digging for the brake, there's like a T adapter. I finally found it in box, I don't know, 26, whatever it was. 
and it's a totally different setup. It's got a one male on it. Am I allowed to say that in politically correct world? But I'm going to anyhow, um, with two females. So that's when I realized that really it can tie right into here and go straight into the adapter. And then I got online, looked at Paul's build, some other guys, and that's what they're all doing. So what I did is I basically complicated this whole thing the way I did it. So I'm gonna trim this here, flare this, go straight into it, out for the flex line, and then run one line all the way across and over. This will go to the rear brake. I can still use a lot of the holes I drilled, not a problem. We're gonna flip the, let me get up underneath here. We're gonna flip it from here to here. So I am gonna have two small holes here, which I can just, uh, I right, could weld them up, but I'll probably just fill them with some uh, silicone or something just so they don't get water or anything in there. So yeah, a little screw up, but uh, nothing major. It's more work than anything else. So now I've got to, you know, bend some more brake lines. This line here is going to be uh, too short, so that one's going to have to go away. Um, but that, hey, that's it. That's you learn. So learn from my mistakes. Uh, do a little bit more research before you start your brake line. Thank you. So my second brake line iteration... Um, you can see we're coming down here. I'm going to come out of here, do a quick bend, bend back down, follow the same route, and then come out over into here instead. Oh, sorry, over into here instead. So it gives you an idea of how I screwed it up or didn't really lay it out. I mean, this does look pretty clean, pretty nice. So, yeah, we'll continue on. Okay, so my brake line, front brake line redo is uh, now complete. So uh, we're coming in the same location, come into here. I'm using this adapter on this side. Uh, so this is the rear of the car, uh, does a little loop down, across, same thing on the other side. So I think many guys on the forum have done this and I just uh, wasn't really thinking. Uh, I was actually working with my son this weekend and you can't concentrate as much, you know, you're spending time with him and you're not kind of thinking about it. Um, so tonight I actually thought about it more and realized that uh, that was not the right way to do it. So no harm, no foul. Um, just a little bit extra work, uh, but you can see that uh, it does look better. I've got to admit, it looks very clean that way. So thanks to some of the guys on the forum that have done this. Appreciate you watching an, uh, another episode of the Front Brake Line Screw-Up. Thanks.